do you take a speed light on location and you need a stand and an umbrella and you're worried about the wind blowing everything over and you wish you had a stable way to take this on location oh we've got something for you today yes we do Monique Renee here, a photographer at Silver Paw Studio, and on this channel, I empower you to tell all of your tales with tales through photography and videography. Okay, if you know me at all, you know I love, love, love my red wagon, my little wagon here. take this wagon out with me on location at parks and natural areas and it gets filled with my camera gear, lights, treats, all kinds of things and I can use it as a prop. I love my wagon. One day I thought what if I could attach a light stand? This wagon's very sturdy. If a light stand was on here I wouldn't have to worry as much about the wind blowing it over. And uh, I've been contemplating that for several months now. Steve and I have sketched all kinds of ideas in a notepad. Lizzie and I brainstormed the last couple of weeks. We sat on the floor at Lowe's for <laughs> at least an hour looking <laughs> through all of the different PVC options. Originally, I wanted to make a light stand on here that could hold my bigger light from my studio that I often do take out on location. Uh, I just thought it would be safer and more portable to be able to take something that can just hold my speed light. So today, we are going to figure out how to make this attach to here and still be adjustable. Lizzie and I have come up with a super good idea here, and we're going to walk you through the actual build process of it. Originally, I had wanted to use an actual light stand for the wagon, but we went through a couple of different ideas and decided to not actually use a light stand, just use all PVC parts and hardware. Uh, so, light stand's gonna go away. I already had this wagon. If you're having trouble finding it, all of these parts and pieces are gonna be linked in the description below, okay? So, Lizzie, we're gonna, we wanna turn this around and you're gonna start? Yes. Okay. Before we start, here's a brief look at the tools and supplies. Pretty basic. Saw, drill, screwdriver, and wrench. We spent quite a bit of time at Lowe's fitting all of the pieces together. We kept a good list of every part that we chose, and while I tried to source everything on Amazon, it was really difficult to find some of the pieces. So in the description below, you'll see that some links are my Amazon links, which are affiliates, by the way, and some are directly to a product on Lowe's. You'll notice that all of our PVC is the one and a quarter fittings. We thought that would provide the most stability without being quite as bulky, but feel free to play around with the different sizes depending on the parts you have available in your area. For hardware, we stuck with the quarter 20 standard sizes, and these are also standard for the photography industry. So many things that you hook up your lights to will be that quarter 20 size. There are very few pieces here, but you may have to buy a package that contains 10 or 20. So hopefully some of these you can just find around your garage or work area. The spigot and the barrel nut I found in specifically the photography portion of Amazon. What we want to be able to do is have the light stand attached to the wagon for stability, but also have it swivel down 
to lock in place while you walk to the next location. It's gonna be obvious by the time we get to the end of the video, so just stick with us. Before we get into the actual build, I wanna give you just a glance at what each piece is that we'll be building. First of all, it's this swivel attachment here. You can see this is the general idea. We'll also be building this and this is one of the pieces we'll be building. So, <laughs> um, so we already have this wagon. The beauty of this wagon is that there's meant to be a bolt right here. Mm -hmm. And so we're just using the spot that's already drilled. <laughs> the first part that Lizzie's going to build here is where the main pole for the light stand will attach and you'll be able to swivel it. Uh, so Lizzie, walk us through how we're gonna attach this piece. Okay, so we have these two pieces, the one that's one and a half inches around this diameter and half an inch threaded around this diameter, and then the threaded cap that will swivel in and fit there. What you wanna do is you wanna take 17th 64th drill bit and you want to drill a hole straight through the middle. Then you're going to take one of your three inch screws which with one of the smaller washers two of your bigger washers, the wing nut, and the lock nut. And so the stack up for this goes, you want to take your cap with the hole in it, and you want to stick the screw so that the long side is coming out the flat end of the swivel cap. You want to make sure that the small washer is in between the head of the screw and the cap. Then, after that, you're going to take your lock nut and you're going to put it on here and it's going to take a lot of work to get it all the way down. <clears throat> so, you're going to need your screwdriver and your 7 16th wrench and what you want to do is you want probably someone to hold the bottom of this screwdriver, push the cap down on it so that it doesn't come loose, and then take the circular side. You want it tight enough so that, for the most part, you can't spin the screw. We want it pivoting inside the through hole. We don't want it coming unscrewed. So that's why we use the lock nut here. And I should note, we just took the original bolts out of here and yes. bought these a little bit longer ones. Yes. After you have that, you screw this in here. And you might want to use a wrench of some sort to really make sure that it's tightly in there. Then what you want to do is you want to take your two wider washers and you want to put that on the outside of the lock nut, stick it through the hole on the other side, and then take the other large washer. So after we put the bolt through the through hole, we want to take the larger washer and put it on the outside here, and then we want to take the wing nut and tighten it up there. There's a possibility that the pressure pushing outward might loosen this this nut here. And so that's why we went for a wing nut so that you could very quickly hand tighten it if it ever came loose on the go. Other than that, that's that part. The next piece we want to show you is, this is just a hook. There's a link to it in the description. The drill holes here weren't quite big enough. So I did drill these a little bit. So I think we're using this lowest one. And I'll show you why we're putting this on here in a minute. But we took this original bolt out. Now we're putting this on there like that. Same materials, three inch, quarter 20. So we're gonna put it through that way. Stick the bolt through with the small washer on the outside of this larger hole. Oh yeah, remember the washer. So we're putting the big washer, yep. On the inside. And then another lock nut. What we're gonna work on now is a base <laughs> that will stand on the ground and we'll show you how that connects to everything. So Lizzie, show us how this goes together. You wanna get one big long piece of PVC and cut it into four seven inch pieces and two four and a half inch pieces with one and a quarter inch in diameter. You want to start with one of these one and a quarter inch T's standing upwards with the two four and a half inch PVC's sticking out on either side. Then you want to take your other two T's, your quarter inch T's, and put them on the end so that it looks like this one on either end of the PVC. 
Then you take each of your seven inch pieces and put them out through each end. Until you get this eye shape. And then put caps. So caps on all four ends of your eye. And there you go. It can fit in like that with this wagon. So if you want it to fit in between the wheels of your wagon, you may have to adjust the length of your PVC depending on which wagon you have. Mm -hmm. It can fit the other way as well. It can also fit in here. You'll see in a moment why we did it like this. So this piece slips right through and down into this foot. So this makes a little more stable base and then this rod, you can have different lengths of this. What's cool is that when we take it out of the foot and then swivel it like this and into this J, you can just stick the foot in the wagon and roll on down the road. But <laughs> you're most likely asking, okay, well, how does this stick on, on here? Let's, and then what about this? How do we do that, right? So we're gonna show you that next. Are you ready, Lizzie? Yes. Okay, me too. All right. So the remaining supplies that we have is we have our thread inside cap, we have our adapter, and we have, we have our spigot, we have our barrel nut, we have a lock nut, and we have a hex nut, and our last quarter 21 inch bolt. Where we want to start is because we felt like if you put this all the way out, that is too much even with the lock nut, too much quarter 20 exposed. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to take this hex nut and treat it kind of like how we've been treating the washers. Put it all the way down to the top of the screw and stick it through so that you have the threaded side facing up out of your cap. Then we want to take the lock nut again and tighten that down. And we used a lock nut here. We tried it without it, but it spins around too much. <laughs> we don't want this bolt to spin at all. Sorry. Yes. Okay, so then after that, you just have this little bit of quarter 20 showing so that you could stick on your barrel and then your spigot. We still have these threads in here. What we did is we took this adapter and we screwed this in. Then you change so that at the top of your light, that just sticks on there. Let me give you a little bit of a closer up of this piece. This will be the top of the stand, the pole. And so we have the barrel nut and we have the spigot, okay. And then we have this adapter, which goes on the top, and tightens there. And you can change out. We have two spigots. This could be here instead, it doesn't matter. Bottom of the flash, we wanna be sure we screw this on here. Just like the other video that you saw of me putting together a flash outside. And you can see how this goes in here. And this will swivel just like any other stand. Then the umbrella goes through. Hi Bailey. Tighten that down. Okay, you can see how that works. The only last thing we want to show you is that with this up in here like this, and this is pretty sturdy, we felt like it needed a little bit more is why we have that piece of strapping. So with the way this has the two slats on the wagon, we're just gonna pull it through and give it a little bit more support here. Probably want it to do twice. Hi, honey. Oh, did you go on a walk? Maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, all right, good job. Good job, Bay. <laughs> yes, we're very happy Hi. for you. Hi, Bailey. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, you went on a walk? Okay. You smell like you went on a walk. All right. So we just thought that this strap helped make it just that much more secure. Mm -hmm. Now let me show you how quickly this goes together.
super fun build. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty excited to try it out and make sure that it's as stable as we want it to be. The great thing about these kinds of legs is we can put our weights here. So any sandbags that we have can go right on here and that'll help a lot. So if you're worried about that, maybe you're on uneven ground or something, uh, you can just put your weights right on top of those feet. And this was a really inexpensive build. I try to total it up. It's maybe $45 going straight to without the wagon, <laughs> straight to the local hardware store. But uh, all these parts and pieces can be found on Amazon. Again, I put all the links in the description so you can just uh, have that go and make one yourself. I think it's gonna work out great. Me too. Yeah, this is awesome. And then we don't have to take any of our light stands out and about with us. And it's just PVC. Thanks Lizzie for making this all happen. My mechanical engineer, robotics <laughs> pro. We used all of her skills. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Yeah, this was super fun. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this build. If you have any questions at all, type any type them in the comments. I am happy to answer them or send them off to Lizzie if I don't know. <laughs> um, and then if you have ideas for how we could engineer this differently, let us know that as well. And uh, be sure to stay tuned for the upcoming in use video. We're gonna take Bay out. Come here, Bay. We're gonna actually take Bailey out and film a video using this light stand set up with the wagon. And uh, we'll show you all of that of it in use as well. Well, if you liked this video, you're going to definitely love all of these. <laughs> and as always, I, I wish you many whoops, purrs, and T-R-E-A-T-S's. -E bye. Bye. Say bye, Bay. Mm -hmm. Bye. Say bye!